Hello, my name is Benjamin Z. Meller, and in today's investor education video, I am going to describe a short sale and how that can be profitable for an investor. So, let's say that you find a someone that has an asset. Perhaps they have a piece of real estate, maybe they have a business. To, to make the example simple, let's just say that the asset is uh, a piece of real estate. Maybe it is a property or some properties that they have. Um, they may have gone through a situation where they're not able to make the payments due to some sort of disruption in their life, uh, maybe some business problem, and they have gotten behind on their payments. Uh, if you can locate that type of individual and they don't have a solution, if they're not already working on a solution and, and you're able to talk to them, you can say, look, how about if I try to buy these, uh, you know, I can't pay the price that uh, you would want to sell them for, but I can pay this amount. And I'll still have to get the bank to agree to take this amount. The bank may even say, no, there's no guarantee the bank will do it. But hey, you know, let me try. And uh, if that sounds good, you sign a contract with them. Then at that point, what you do is you contact the bank. They'll have a packet that you'll fill out. And you're going to basically on that packet, you're going to, it's, a, it's really, this part is annoying, the bank paperwork, but uh, if it's a normal short sale, you fill out a packet from the bank. Uh, the bank will send out an appraiser, uh, usually. Uh, not every bank does it this way, but in general, the appraiser will write down whatever number he wants to write down on what he thinks the property is really worth. Uh, the worse that he thinks the condition is in, the lower the number he'll write down and the lower the number that the bank will take. They'll actually take a bit less than the appraised value. Each bank is different, but usually it's around maybe 80%, 85%, somewhere around there is what they'll take. Whatever number that appraiser writes down, the bank's going to take approximately maybe 80, 85% of that. In some cases, they'll take far lower than that. I'm just talking in general terms. But depending on how well you've negotiated, one time I was involved with a transaction where, uh, you know, I'm not going to get into a whole lot of details, but basically there's about $85,000 worth of debt. And uh, the bank was willing to take, uh, my offer on it was about $21,000. Uh, so uh, I was able to negotiate down a purchase price from a bank debt of $85,000 to about $21,000. So there can sometimes be a large amount of, um, of give there. It just depends on the deal. But I encourage you to look into short sales. That's something that always, if you're someone that's a detail-oriented person, that you've got a lot of patience for filling out paperwork, you're going to love short sales. If that's not really something that's in your personality, don't do it because it's, 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 it's something that you've got to be very organized. It's a real headache. So, but, but it can make money, and it's a technique that some investors may not have ever done. I've done many short sales over the years. Uh, that's one that I think could be interesting for you to, to learn more about. Thank you.